in this video we are going to uh, create a new series in this series what we are going to do that we are going to do a complete live catalog training so we are trying to cover all these objects all these uh, points that can be covered as part of catalog training so if you see here uh, we are not going to go through the theory part we are going to uh, um, build a catalog item in a live uh, class and then in these classes uh, we are uh, we are trying to cover all these objects which will become to your catalog item. So this is our real time scenario where I need to have certain functionality needs to be added to the catalog item. Not only going to through, through the theory, we will see that actually how it can be implemented and how we can use all these objects in our catalog item. So without wasting time, let's get started. So in this requirement, if you see here, uh, the customer asks us to create a catalog item. Let's say the catalog item name is group membership manager. And then the, they provided the description. What should be the description? They said that what should be the short description. They provided the image, catalog, category, visibility, what all variable should be there. Um, when this variable should be there, we'll cover one by one. Before that, I'll just take a one minute to show you, uh, tell you that what is the catalog item. Maybe some of the user are the new. So I'll just take one minute. Normally, if you see, this is the service portal where end user can raise something as per their needed. So as per our documentation, what we need that we might to, uh, we, I might be want to add uh, myself uh, in a particular service now groups. Okay, so I might need to be add myself to in a service now particular groups. So in that case, uh, you know, I uh, there should be some catalog item. So this is the catalog item. Maybe for example, once I raise the request, it will go for certain approvals, and after everyone approves, the uh, you know that uh, that I will be automatically add to the particular group, particular service now group. So let's build today as a developer. What are the steps we should do that? So very first thing, if you see this in this Excel, uh, the catalog name is the group uh, uh, members, uh, members manager. Uh, so what it will do that by this catalog item, we can order this catalog item and ordering that catalog item by myself. Okay, so it will automatically add me to a particular service now group. But there before that, there should be some def definitely approvals. So we'll cover one by one. So very first thing is that we'll go to this SC CAD item table. So you can type the maintain item. In this maintain item table, uh, you need to create a new catalog item. So we are talking about the new brand new catalog item. If it is existing, there are some different logic, but let's start with the new one. So very first thing is that we have to build the new catalog item. We'll click the new. Here, as per the parameter, whatever they have provided. So let's say client give me this is the catalog item name. We'll put that as a catalog item name. Catalog will be normally the service catalog. If there is any specifically any uh, any specific ask, you can ask your client that what should be the catalog. But in the service portal, you can see this service portal only render the service catalog. So we are going to select that catalog equal to service catalog active will be true and you are going to build this catalog item definitely in your dev environment so nothing is nothing needs to worry uh, now in the category you need to be select the category whatever the client will be provided in my case the client doesn't provide any category and any catalog so i am going to select one category here so we will select any of this let's say i'll select the office category owner will be the default user who is going to be created so I, I am doing myself, so the owner name is the system administrator. Now what they ask that, they ask to get the short description. So we'll put that short description as per this, uh, our uh, case. And then uh, this is, might be the description. We'll cut here and then paste here. This is the short description. And then short description will be, this is the one is the, item short description copy and paste there okay
Now, uh, think about that. They asked me to add that particular KB link so that when somebody click that, they should redirect to the particular KB. So we'll do that uh, later, but we'll, we'll do differently. So now, what, will, what else they have asked? Uh, they are asked to add the image and then visibility is the ITL. So we'll first add the image. So we'll go back to the picture and then here. So, so far you can see that I have uploaded. This is the icon and this is the picture. And if I go back to my document, you can see that these are the stops so far we have done. So I'll mark as a uh, green. So these are the stops already done. Visibility we have not done yet. So we'll do that. So let's save this catalog item and see how it looks like in our uh, uh, you know, um, service portal. Also, if you see here in the item description, there is a meta. So meta is an important factor in your catalog item whenever you are building the catalog item. So meta help you to find out that um, you know uh, that catalog item for the searching purpose. So we'll put that group membership as a one meta like tag. Meta is nothing but a, it's like a tag. So we'll copy and paste here. Let's save that. Once our catalog item is saved, it means that it is ready for use in dev environment. So we'll go here, we'll refresh our uh, portal and we'll start searching that. So we'll search here. So you can see when we search that, it is showing one image that is that nothing but, uh, you know, uh, if I go back. So this picture is visible here, this picture uh, that whatever we have uploaded is visible here and then once we click here that catalog item will be open with that particular picture so the catalog item title will be visible to you on your top the short description will be visible on the bottom and this is the description will be visible on that uh, you know after that and this is the a picture which will be visible but icon is so far is not visible anywhere you can see the icon is not visible the picture is visible in the left side this is the description which is visible here and then here you can see this is the title um, I mean the short description and this is the name which is visible to top so that's how it looks like and if you see here in this uh, top the bread comes uh, breadcrumb is saying office and then service catalog office is nothing but the category and this is the catalog so if you see that the service catalog and this is the category which is visible here now if we click here office so office related all these are um, uh, catalog item are visible right now you can see these all are visible and here uh, in this case our name is visible and this is the short description and this is the picture is visible now if I click here again it will be open to that particular uh, you know um, catalog item so so far we have done this catalog item if you see as per this requirement we have done this one now there are a little bit changes we can do first changes we can do that you can see the quantity it is showing the quantity one two three four five if you want to hide this quantity simply go back to that uh, you know portal setting and then click the hide quantity once you click and save that this will be hide this quantity let's do that next is that uh, there is a delivery time each catalog item have a estimated delivery time so let's say I am ordering for a um, uh, particular items and there should be some um, you know estimated delivery time two days three days that we can uh, that is visible to here two days we can hide that if you want to hide this delivery time so you can just check that and it will be hide the delivery time so save that once you save and refresh that the height uh, the time will be that estimated time will be gone now there are a few more things uh, want to quickly cover that mandatory attachment so if we check that and save that what will be happen this attachment will be mandatory until unless you attach something uh, here we cannot you cannot submit that so let's try that you can see 
this attachment sign is a mandatory and now without uh, you know uh, attach you can't make this uh, you know can't order this now few more thing is that uh, if you see here order method we can change to the request submit and um, uh, you know uh, uh, order okay so what does it mean by that if you see here uh, we have a button called order now if we change that to uh, call request and save that and let's refresh that form the button will be changed as a request you can change this uh, request method to the submit and then the button will be changes as per your requirement so these are the basic functionality provided by service now if you don't know i'm just talking about those and definitely we are going to cover all this aspect like client script ui policy data policy uh, everything we will try to cover as workflow flow designer everything will be covered as per that so right now catalog item we are mostly covered we'll go back here so these are the functionality we have now next thing is that if you see here in this uh, price we have a price equal to zero and then recurring price is a uh, zero it means that whenever you order the catalog item if the uh, catalog item needed any price you can define that so let's see in in our group membership is it showing any price let's first see that it's not showing any price we'll put that 100 okay and then once you order that this catalog item price will be 100 it means that whoever is getting fulfillment you can see that right now price is showing 100 it means that if you ordered that company may cost hundred dollar from you so that is defining here so you can do that and even recurring price let's say you purchase something which have a recurring price let's say software every month you need to be uh, do some uh, you know uh, uh, give some price so that you can also define as a recurring price and then you can if I refresh that the recurring price also will be visible here you can see hundred is your base price plus dollar 10 rupees or 10 dollar is the uh, uh, monthly charges so that recurring price also visible that is the case now we'll do one thing uh, that's for the requirement we should add that knowledge article link so that somebody click here and they can be able to go to the particular catalog item we'll do that so we'll duplicate this catalog uh, this page and go to the default page so we'll try to find out any relative uh, knowledge article that can be attached so let's say uh, we'll attach this catalog item. Uh, um, so let's say we'll attach this knowledge article. Somebody click on that and they should be redirected to uh, this knowledge article. What we'll do, we'll uh, scroll down. There is options called copy permalink. We'll copy that and then go back to that our catalog item. You can put any particular link that can be, uh, you know, go to that catalog item. So we'll uh, click here and there should be some options called insert link we'll click here put the URL and then target is will uh, say the new window it means that when somebody, somebody click that it should open a new windows and then uh, we'll put some text called click here and okay so it means that there will be one link will be available and somebody click that they will be redirect to in a new tab on the particular knowledge article so let's refresh our knowledge article here the catalog item and you can see this hyperlink is available now if we click it will be opening a new tab particular knowledge article so that's for how we can uh, you know uh, build the catalog item the next requirement is as per our excel sheet is that how can we uh, you know um, mark this catalog item visible to for only ITL user. So do, for do that, what we have in the catalog item, we have a two tabs. One is the available for, another is the not available for. What does it mean by that? Available for and not available for is a related list where you can add multiple, I mean, multiple options. So our case, this catalog item will be only visible for ITL user, not other. So what we have to do, we have a, a module called user criteria if you type that under the service catalog you have a user criteria simply open that 
and in this user criteria there are many criteria name is defined here i will simply search with that itil if is there any itil uh, you know related user criteria is there or not so you can see already there is a user criteria defined with the itil user i can do another user criteria so but i'll just quickly show you before i am going to create that so you can see the name of the user criteria is the itil user and then the roles is defined it means that for this user criteria itil role is the user criteria it means that any 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 places where somebody use this user criteria and if this condition matches let's say that itil role is matches then only they will be able to access that catalog item so let's do one thing we'll create a new user criteria called new itil role and now here you can see you have a option so if you want to show particular uh, specific user you can define or else you can define particular role so we'll put the itil role so any user who have the itil role will be satisfy this user criteria okay or you, these are the or condition until unless you check the match all okay once you copy this and you can attach to this as a available form you can go and edit and attach to that available form so always you don't need to create that user criteria if it is available you can use that for demo purpose i have created that so i'll attach this user criteria and simply save that it means that the user who have itil role they will be uh, you know ordered this catalog item okay so in this case we have complete completed this visibility also now we'll do in our next sessions we'll cover the variables creations we'll do some reference qualifier stuffs we'll do some scripting also in our next sessions like client script ui policy we'll do one by one so thank you very much have a great day